Until now, our templates haven't supported dynamically rendering elements based on Boolean conditions. That's about to change as we'll talk about three directives in this lecture. Vif, VLSIF and VLS. The names of these directives should be pretty self-explanatory, so let's dive straight into an example. Suppose that we have a web shop and we want to display how many items are in stock but that we also want to display a dynamic text based on the item count. This number is stored in a data property called items in stock. Right now we have three paragraph elements containing three different texts. We want to display the first one if there are more than 10 items in stock and if they are between one and 10 in stock, we want to display the second one. Otherwise we display the last text. As for the first condition, I can simply use the VF directive to check if the items in stock property contains a number greater than 10, like this. So on the first paragraph, I will enter V if as the directive. And the expression is going to be a Boolean expression. So I can write items in stock, which is the name of the data property, greater than 10. So in this case, the directive's expression should evaluate to a boolean value. If the items in stock data property contains a number greater than 10, the paragraph is rendered and otherwise it's ignored. For the second paragraph, I'll use the vlse if directive. This comes into play if the vif directive's expression evaluates to false. The vlse if directive also takes an expression, so this time I'll check if the items in stock data property is greater than zero. So here I can write vlse if equals, and here is the expression. I'll say items in stock greater than zero. Because this is only evaluated if the vif directive's expression evaluates to false, this effectively checks whether or not the items in stock property contains a number between 1 and 10. The last scenario is if none of these two conditions are true, meaning that no items are in stock. This is as easy as adding the vlse directive without any expression. So let's do that. I'll just write vlse and that's it. Running the code now we'll see the number of items in stock currently being printed because the number is greater than 10. If I change the item count to 8, like so, it seems like there are just a few items left in stock, so we better hurry. Changing the number to 0 will result in a text stating that we are out of stock. Awesome! Note that since the directives expect an expression, I could also have entered the name of a data property as the expression. In this case, the data property would need to contain a boolean value, i.e. true or false, but the behavior of the directive would remain the same. Be aware that these three directives actually remove the elements from the DOM in case they evaluate to false instead of hiding them. This means that if we inspect the paragraph element that is displayed, we are not going to see two other paragraph siblings in the DOM that are hidden by CSS. So let's check that by inspecting this element. And as we can see here, there is indeed only one paragraph tag here. So the two other ones are removed from the DOM. They are not hidden by any CSS style. So the elements are removed and added to the DOM if something changes and the expressions evaluate to true. This also applies to any child elements of the element that contains the directive. Another thing to note is that the vlse if and vlse directives require that the previous sibling contains the vif and vlse if directives respectively. This basically just means that Vue.js requires that these three directives are placed on the same level in the DOM, meaning that the elements must be siblings. So you cannot have an element with the vif directive and then nest an element with the vlse directive at a different level in the HTML. But what if you have multiple elements that you want to be affected by a vif directive, for instance? Say that we have two new paragraph tags that we only want to render if we have lots of items in stock. So let me just go ahead and add these two new paragraphs. I'll say special offer. 
looks like we have tons of products in stock save 20% if you order now. So this should be displayed if we have a lot of items in stock and we want to get rid of them. So how can we only display these two elements if we have more than 50 items in stock for example? We could wrap multiple elements within a div element, but this would also change our markup, which may be undesirable and cause you to have to use CSS to fix the appearance. Instead, you can use the template element, which was added in HTML5. Using this element means that the template wrapper element is not added to the DOM, but the inner contents are. I will add a template element that wraps the paragraphs and use the vif directive to check if there are more than 50 items in stock. So first, let's add the template element, like so. I'll copy these two paragraphs in there and just fix the markup a little bit, like so. And on this template element here, I can write vif equals items in stock is greater than 50. Now I'll just change the items in stock to be 51 so we can see it in action. Now the paragraphs appear but if we inspect the DOM we can see that there is no sign of the template element as you can clearly see here. This is great because in this case we don't need to use a div element as a wrapper which then affects the DOM and potentially the appearance of the page.